All right, guys, so what you're gonna do today is this worksheet right here. So this is gonna be about calculating net force. So this is not like you actually using the formula. You are just basically looking at the arrows and looking at the forces and knowing, do you add them? Do you subtract them? How do you get the total? Okay, so the first thing I wanna start with is knowing what a force is. So force is a push or pull. Okay, and you do it upon an object. So you can push an object, you can pull an object, okay? And there's all types of forces around us, including friction and gravity and the own force that we put upon objects. So net force is when you are calculating or you're totaling um, basically the forces acting on objects. So there might be all these different forces. Now you just wanna get the total. And we always calculate in Newtons. Right here, right? Sorry, my object is not the best, but here's, here's my little box, okay? So we have this object here, and then we have a force going this way, pushing the box, a force going this way, pulling the box, okay? Then we have another object, right? We have someone pulling and someone pulling, okay? So in the these two examples, what we have is two forces that are going the same way. So this one's going to the right, this one's going to the right. This one's going to the right, this one's going to the right. Okay, so example, let's say some, somebody is pushing the box with two Newtons, somebody is pulling the box with three Newtons. Because it is going the same direction, all you have to do is add, okay? Even over here, you would do the same thing. You would add them, okay? So for two plus three, the net force or total force would be five Newtons, okay? Over here, let's say we had um, someone pulling with two Newtons, another pulling with six Newtons, Add those two things up. And then your total for this one would be eight Newtons, okay? So that is when two forces are going in the same direction. So they both could be going up, they both could go to the left, to the right, or down, okay? Now, if I show you an example, two objects with opposite forces. So again, that could be up and down, like there's a force going like this, and then there's a force going like this. There could be a force pushing this way, and then a force pushing that way. These are opposites because we have up, we have down, we have right, we have left. Okay, so if we represent this in numbers, let's say this is one Newton going up, six Newtons going down, three Newtons going right, and let's say two Newtons going left, okay? So mathematically, the way we would express this or the way we would solve this is through subtracting. So when the forces are the same, you add. Well, when they're opposite, like these two examples, you subtract. So you just take the bigger number first, and then the smaller number, so it'll be six minus one, and the net force for this one is five Newtons. For this one, we have three, and we have two, so the net force is going to be one Newton, okay? So that is all you have to do 
basically to solve these problems, okay? So the last thing I wanna show you just in case so it doesn't confuse you is if you have multiple forces. So let's say we have a force going this way, another force going this way, and then a force going this way. So the force on top, we could say is four newtons. The one on the bottom can be one newton. And then over here, we could say eight newtons. The first thing you wanna do is for these, you would add them because they're going the same direction. They're both going from left to right. So that will be five. And now to compare, this is going right, this is going left, so you subtract. So eight, because we do the bigger number, minus five, and then the net force acting on this box is going to be three newtons, okay? So now you have all the things you need to practice. Just one thing I do not want you guys to forget. Science rules. Science rules. Science rules. Science rules. Science rules. Yeah. Ridiculous. Okay.